Hey, what's up guys? I'm sure you've seen these types of uh, strip lighting before or tape lighting, you know, whatever you want to call it. They need this little controller box here and they generally come with a simple little IR controller. Well, as you can see, I put some of these up on my porch and I have some left over. I thought we'd take a look at it see how they work and see if we can't find a different way to make them work so here's some of the tape that I have left over I thought we could uh, play around with a little bit to see how many lights there are per foot One, two, three, four, five. So six lights per foot. We've got a resistor. Well, well let me let me tell you about these first of all. I pay no mind to that. I've been playing around over there. So these are the little 50-50 LEDs. You can see they have six connections. You can see the traces there. There's resistor for green, blue, and red. Next light. And then at I think it's at every three lights, you can just cut these right down the middle like that. So I'll tell you what, let's get us a fresh foot of these. There we go, and we'll we will tin up these edges here so that we can solder to this. Okay, so I stuck our strip to a ruler here, so just so it stays place. And there you can see the soldering there. Over here, I got the power supply set for 12 volts. At one amp. And what I'm guessing happens here is this works by grounding these. Yep, there you go. There's blue. And it's using 22 milliamps. Here's green at 25 milliamps, and there's red at 22 milliamps. Well, what if we put green and red together, then what do we get? We get kind of a, a yellow, and red and blue should give us a kind of purple and it does and all three should give us a mostly white light and it does and you can see we are at 0.75 amps or 76 milliamps all in so all we need to do is provide 12 volts little focus there we go 12 volts onto that rail and then ground whichever one of these rails we want. So I think this lends itself to a uh, little Arduino project, don't you? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Let's get it set up. I'll take a little breadboard here with uh, Arduino Nano on it. And we're going to need transistors because you've got to remember the maximum um, current on any pin of the Arduino is 20 milliamps and these are 22 to 25 milliamps minimum yeah that's not gonna work anyway these are 2N3904s simple NPN transistors and 
and we are going to need three of them. So I'll stick one here, like so. Here, trying to get in all the holes your home. We got one, two, three. Unfortunately, he's going to have to go somewhere else. We'll stick three up top here. Okay, so the way these are pinned out is you have your emitter, your base, and your collector. So we're going to need to connect the output pins from the Arduino to the bases. Then the emitters are going to go to ground. So let's take care of that. So I got some jumpers here. And we will run our emitters to ground. that there and we got one more one second I need a longer one for this one but it's still the same principle emitter to ground just like so all right now we need to connect our bases to some Arduino digital pins. <clears throat> now you could do this with analog pins and vary the brightness if you want. But for our demonstration here today, we are just going to be doing uh, digital pins. So we will do uh, well, I totally screwed up there. You could route these to PWM pins and vary the voltage and the brightness, not the analog pins. The analog pins would be if we wanted an input. So we'll just go uh, D3 for one. D4 for the next one. And D5. For the final one. So far, so good. Now we're going to need to write a little bit of code. All right, here we are looking at the code, and it's super simple, so I really didn't bother to comment it. First thing we're just going to do is we're going to take our three colors and use the define command to map them to a pin on the Arduino. So red is digital three, green is digital four, and blue is digital five. So this happens before that the program is compiled. So anytime the compiler sees the words red, green, or blue, it's just going to put those numbers in there. So here's our setup. The first part is we need to define our pins as the inputs or outputs. They're of course outputs in this case. I'm just going to wait a tenth of a second. And then we're going to turn all our pins on. And that shuts the lights off since we're switching them to ground through our transistors. And that's the end of our setup. Now we have the actual program. So the first thing we're going to do is turn pin 3, the red pin, low. That will turn on the red lights for a second, then it'll shut it off. Then we'll do the same with, uh... <laughs> this should say green. Do the same with green, and then with blue. Somebody cut and pasted and forgot to make some corrections. And then finally down here, we'll do white, where we'll turn them all on for two seconds. And we'll turn them all off. 
let's make sure it's going to compile we'll call this LED tape yeah yeah whatever yeah yeah I know you don't like that so there's an error message okay expression cannot be used as a function no worries just a typo that should be a comma there that's all try it again compiling okay looks good I'll upload it and we'll go have a look at it on the Arduino all right the codes in we're just about ready we just need to do a couple of more things here we need to go V in to our power and ground needs to go to ground and then I should be able to hook this up turn it on we got red green red green white red green red something seems to be wrong with the blue doesn't it Here, let me turn off the lights so you can see better yellow red green Well, I think this video has actually <laughs> been long enough. You get the idea. You've seen the code. You understand the concept. This tape is really cheap these days. And again, this is the non-addressable kind of tape where they're all one or the other. And there's nothing in between. So keep that in mind. And uh, thanks for watching if you enjoyed this. Hope you'll give me a thumbs up. Feel free to comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe. Big thanks to all the patrons. Big thanks to you guys for watching. That's it. I'm out. Peace.